Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I like to do a hot oil treatment slash moisturize my locks after a good shampoo. I do not use any conditioner, no leave-in conditioner, no deep conditioners. My routine only consists of shampooing and a hot oil treatment and then moisturizing the length of my locks, which I do in between washes and right after I get done washing my locks. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. But before you do, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a future video. All right, let's get straight into it. So if you haven't already, make sure that you watch my wash day routine. I'll leave it above on the screen. All right, I got a little bit of ASMR going on so you can hear me massaging my scalp and you hear the suds and all of that goodness and the water running. So make sure you go check that out. Ooh, let me take this down. Ooh, y'all. Oh, my hair feels so much lighter. Oh my goodness, and it smells amazing. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put this around my neck to make sure no oil gets on my shirt. As my locks are drying, which I had done drying for about 20 to 30 minutes, I warm up some hot water and I place my oil, the oil of choice, I place it in a cup of hot water for about a minute or two. The first thing I want to do is I want to mist my locks. I want to put back in the moisture. Like I said earlier, I do not use conditioner. This is technically my leave-in conditioner, except it's no conditioner. I call this a hydrating mist. And if you're interested, I'll leave the link above on the screen. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly mist my locks, okay, to add back the moisture that was lost due to shampooing. Just kind of. So after I moisturize the length of my locks and also my scalp, I am going to go in with my oil mix, which is a combination of sweet almond oil, avocado oil, and olive oil, and a few drops of peppermint essential oil. So I'm going to shake that up, and I'm going to just kind of like I'm not squeezing the bottle, I'm just skipping maybe a row and I'm just massaging that in as I do a few rows. That way the oil does not drip. Okay. This feels amazing. Okay, one, two. Ooh. I definitely want to tackle my new growth, you guys. It's been over three months since my last retwist. And so I want to make sure that my new growth is getting all the TLC that it needs. This side, do my crown, which is like my most sensitive area. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and do my edges. Can't neglect my edges now. Okay, I'm going to take my soft bristle brush. Ooh, which also I have a video on how to grow back thick, healthy edges and maintain them. It's part of my routine of making sure that I cater to my edges and I kind of massage the oil by brushing it using a very soft bristle brush. It has to be soft, y'all. The point is to keep your edges, not to lose them. So yeah, and then I'm going to massage my scalp just a little bit more. I 
can actually take this off now because my hair is not dripping too bad. All right, y'all. And so here you go. I really don't bring oil down the length of my locks. Just lightly, whatever's left on my hands, I just kind of run it, but I don't add oil to the length of my locks. So, that's just my preference. And there you have it. Let me give you a 360. In the front, you can see my scalp looks clean. Very clean, moisturized. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Now I'm going to have to go through and separate my locks, which that leads me to the end of this video and on to the next video. Make sure that you stay tuned because this will be, I guess, a part two or part three to lock maintenance. And so because I've gone more than three months without a retwist, it's important that I separate my locks so they don't marry each other. So if you really like this video, again, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next one. Love you guys.